Hey people, welcome back to another paint remake video. I'm so excited because today I'll be doing a big painting, which is already right here, and um, I'll be wire painting medium. This size of this paint, this canvas is 120 by um, 90 centimeter, and I am so excited because I actually pr prefer working on a bigger surface than working on smaller canvases. So I'm so excited because I get to like explore and um, express myself better. I feel like when I paint on a bigger canvas, I can express myself better and I work well with time. But the other reason I've been working on like really small canvases and wood is because I have like a deadline and a time, a time, um, a time frame I've set for myself. So I've been trying to work with that time and not um, get um, overwhelmed with all the things I have like planned and all set to go so I'm so excited as well because the exhibition is in exactly four weeks it's in four weeks four weeks from now I'm gonna be showcasing and it's a one night event so if you haven't bought the ticket and you're in Sydney and you'll be interested in coming to the exhibition I'll leave the link below for you to purchase your ticket it's $22.50 come and support your girl come and check out seriously guys Video, the videos do, doesn't do justice to the paintings really so i'm serious it doesn't do justice to the paintings you need to come and see them live you need to come and see the details every brush stroke every texture every color you need to come and witness it for yourself so without saying much let's just get right into this video guys please let me know am i the only creative person or like artist that what likes to watch something while painting or like listen to something i mean i know everyone might listen to music but i just i just find it so like cool and just interesting to listen to, to watch something while painting let me know in the comment section <laughs> I had to really push myself with the time frame I had. I didn't, because I knew that if the earlier I finished the painting, the more time the painting would have to dry. So I really was disciplined while doing this painting and kept to my plan. Uh, but I mean, as a creative, so many things can happen along the way while you work. So there might be times you might not feel up to it, you might not be feeling creative, you might not be feeling inspired. And when you feel like that, that's totally fine, it's normal, just give yourself a break. But yeah, there were days I had to take two days off, one day off, and came, and came back to the work.
so guys um this painting took me about three to four weeks to finish because i worked in oil paint medium and or you already know if you're an artist that oil painting takes time to dry and because of the layers i wanted to build i needed it to i always had to leave it for like a day or two and then come back to it and do other things so um i also painted at random hours i painted in the mornings in the afternoons in the in the night in the middle of the night like 2 a.m 3 a.m or early in the mornings yeah so it was it was a really um um interesting challenge for me to like do this big painting it's been a while since i did a big painting the last time i did a big painting which was a commission was in december last year 2018 and january 2019 so it was a good challenge i really enjoyed every single and every little bit of this um work you know like i felt so connected to it especially because it, it this was inspired from my childhood i had a post i uh, made a post about this painting last week on instagram where i like talked about talked a little bit about um what inspired me growing up like never had like that much freedom we always had to watch kids from the window and from the gate like playing outside the neighborhood and you know and now that i'm older and now i have my freedom you know it's just so funny to just look back and just like laugh at those times we were like literally um prisoners we were in jail like even the the kids in the neighborhood called us that they said we were prisoners but anyway um yeah uh i don't really have like a particular pattern or style in which i like to do like i plan my painting i don't really i plan like w the drawing and all that but i really don't plan the colors like these colors just they just emerge like naturally like they just revolve naturally i don't really plan anything you know it just um basically happens like you just I, I just go with the flow and i like the fact that i get to paint in that way because it's it feels like i'm painting like my heart like i'm painting like what i feel in that moment like the emotions i'm feeling and because i did this painting in on um various in various um days or like various like weeks so i did it for weeks it there were very various emotions attached to the paintings like black you know like very different moods so it was a very um interesting this was a very interesting and very beautiful um piece to work on i'm so proud of myself i'm glad that i was able to work on this on this work so um i just basically use my oil paints like i use all the colors you can think of and um i naturally just mix my colors i don't have any like i don't have any like um color wheel or any like a um, particular form or like a booklet where i get like the shades of my colors from like they just naturally come out on their own like it just naturally happens so yeah i'm just like working with with the paints and just going in sometimes it's really hard when you want to achieve like a particular like a particular um particular um progress in one day there, but there were times i had i just had to leave the paint you know and let it dry a little bit and then come back to it guys at this point i'm just working my way in with my different shades of brown putting in the skin tone because i was just about done just working my way in with different shades like darker tones light tone lighter tones so i walked my i used the, the light in the room to um work with the skin tone so the i was working by the window on the left hand side it, it the, the light was brighter and on the right side it was a bit darker so i worked with this um variation of light and where light was coming from yeah
all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video i'm so happy that i could show you guys this process of um working on these pieces and this amazing job i've just done i'm so proud of myself and um please don't forget to share like subscribe comment and thank you for your support thank you for everyone that has subscribed to my channel so far i really appreciate it it means a lot to me and um yeah i'll be definitely creating more videos more content for you and i hope to see you in my next video bye for now